Hello and welcome to your word study this week. If you're wondering who is talking, it is Miss Cascones and I am so excited to be with you today. Now for word study today, you will need either two sets of things. You will either need a whiteboard and a marker or your reading journal or some kind of piece of paper and a pencil because um, you're gonna share your work with your teacher. Your teacher may prefer you to work in your reading journal or your pencil so that they can see your work at a later time. So pause the video now to get these supplies. All right, now that we have our stuff, we are gonna be using something called an analogy chart. And with an analogy chart, you can learn about how words work and you can use patterns in words to read and write new words. So I really love analogy charts. And this week we are going to focus on some a spelling pattern of when to drop the E when you're making new words because some words have a silent E at the end. Now on either your whiteboard or your piece of paper, you're gonna draw a line down the middle, just like you see on the screen. You don't have to make a box, just a line down the middle. Because some words are gonna go on one side of the analogy chart and some words are gonna go on the other side of the analogy chart. All right, once you've done that, we're gonna write two words. On one side of the chart, you're gonna write the word like. On the other side of the chart, you're going to write the word liking. Pause the video now to do this. All right. Now that you've wrote like and liking, make sure that ing is underlined. This is the pattern that we are going to focus on. So sometimes when we write words, and there's a new part like ing, if the ending begins with a vowel, like the I in ing is a vowel, if the ending begins with a vowel, you have to drop the E. So for like, we had to drop the E and get rid of it to write the word liking because we're adding an ending that has a, that begins with a vowel. So we're gonna practice this, okay? So the first word you're gonna write is close. Close. Which side of the chart does the word close belong? Close belongs under like. It has a silent E at the end. Write the word close under like. All right, check it. Does your word look like my, my word? If not, fix it. Close. Sometimes it's helpful to say the word slow and smooth as you write, hear all the sounds. Close. Now what we're gonna do on the other side is we're gonna practice dropping the E when we're adding an ending that begins with a vowel. So the next word you're gonna write is closing. Closing. Which side of the chart does the word closing belong? You're right, closing belongs on this side. Write the word closing under liking. Say it slow and smooth to hear all the sounds. All right, check it. Did you get it? When you add an ending that begins with a vowel, such as the I in ing, you drop the E to make it look like it would in a book. Closing. All right, let's do another one. Are you ready? Shine. Which side of the chart does the word shine belong? You're right, it belongs on this side under like, because they both have the silent E at the end to make it look right. Write the word shine under close. 
Say it slow and smooth to hear all the sounds. Shine. Did you get it? Check it. Make sure your word looks like my word. Your word should have an E at the end to make it look right like it would in a book. Shine. Our next word is shining. Where would the word shining go? You're right, shining would go on this side. Think about what the word shining needs to look like. Write the word shining. Say it slow and smooth to hear all the parts. Shining. Did you get it? Check it. Make sure your word looks like my word. Shining. Readers, do you see how that we drop the E when we're adding an ending that has or begins, not has, but begins with a vowel, such as ing. The I in ing is a vowel, so I need to drop the E when I'm adding that ending. Shining. Let's do another word. Blame. Blame. Which side of the chart does blame go under? Blame goes on this side. Write it. Check it. Does your word look like my word? If not, fix it. Blame. Our next word is blaming. Blaming. Think about which side of the chart does the word blaming belong to. Write it. Check it. Does your word look like my word? Blaming. When you write the word blaming, you drop the E because the ending begins with a vowel. The ending is I-N-G or ing, and it begins with a vowel, the vowel I. So you drop the E to make it look right like it would in a book. Blaming. All right, we're going to our last two words, and these are kind of tricky. You ready? The next word is prune. Prune. Think about where does the word prune belong and write it on your chart. Prune. Did you get it? I knew you would. Prune. Peroon belongs under the word like. Why? Because it has a silent E. The next word we are going to look at is, or the last word is, pruning. Pruning. Take what you know about the word prune to help you write pruning. Think about what the word pruning needs to look like. Write it on your chart. Check it. Does your word look like my word? To write the word pruning, you drop the E when you are spelling because the ending that you are adding begins with the vowel, pruning. Let's read our words together. Are you ready? We're going to start with the like column. Like, close, Shine, blame, prune. All of these have a silent E. Let's go to the next one with liking. Let's read them together. Liking, closing, shining, blaming, pruning. All of these follow the same spelling pattern of dropping the E when you have an ending that begins with a vowel. All right. Good job, guys. Bye.